I'll cherish your heart, I won't lie to you. And I'll keep my word, you know it's true. I'll use the rest of my life, babe, till the day that I die to show you Titi La. Writing a great song requires some level of inspiration, which can be derived from stories all around us, from the environment, our interactions, jobs, relationships, experiences, and more. It is also very challenging. Aramide and David B are both award-winning singers and songwriters. The first song I ever worked on, like I said, I was going to put out this music, was um, a song called It's Over. It wasn't, back then songwriting wasn't difficult for me because it was the first thing I ever learned how to do even before singing or anything. You know, so it wasn't, it was very interesting for me because I recorded the music in Joss, I used to live in Joss and there are a lot of studios in Joss that we have access to. I think part of the benefits of being a songwriter is the fact that you get to create a story in your head and you get to interpret it in words yourself. Usually I write most of my songs before I get to the studio. Sometimes it's half done, sometimes just chorus, it depends, you know. So when I get into the studio with my producer, um, I play like a, the chorus, I play like a, I do like a rundown of the song and then we start to create, it starts to... I think the benefit of being a songwriter in today's industry is being able to tell stories. Um, not just your stories, but stories of other people. And I think it's, you know, it's one thing to sing someone else's song, which is amazing, but then it's also very, very fulfilling, for me anyway, very satisfying when I sing a song that I truly connect with, especially when it's an experience of mine. I think part of the benefits of being a songwriter is the fact that you get to create a story in your head and you get to interpret it in words yourself. Um, with the alternative sort of music, you have those who tell stories and then you have those who just make music so that we can have a good time at clubs or at weddings. So. After the original dropped, everyone was like, this song actually needs, the conversation needs to continue. You need a remix, work with this person, work with that person. And I started thinking of, okay, how do I, I want to work with Sounds of, I want to work with Kuka. How do I, can I bring both of them on this song? Is this the right song to bring both of them on? Both of them are witty, both of them are very experienced as well. And they're from two different generations. So it just felt right to put them in the song. Is that how you used to do? If a melody comes to my head, I just literally just sing gibberish. So I'm in the studio going forever, like literally just doing whatever comes to my head. Um, and then that's recorded and we keep playing it back. Most times when I'm writing my music, actually when it's just coming, I like to be alone. Um, and most times I'm, I'm alone most of the time. Um, I, I use my guitar a lot to write. And sometimes I, I get help from, from like my writing partners and all that. So the fact that a songwriter does not mean that some, someone else cannot write music for you, can't write your songs for you. It just, it just makes you more versatile. So you have the songwriters who spend days and weeks and months trying to come up with a timeless song. 
you know, carefully thought out lyrics um, that mean a lot to the person writing and tells the stories of the listeners. I want to write songs that will make people dance. I want to write songs that will make people cry. I want to write songs that will make people feel like being in love. So, yeah. Your business is her business. Professional, I'm a boss. Boss said they wear you, they go again. You won't go do a for four. Boss said they wear you, they go again. You won't My name is Kiki O'Mealy, Dr. Turned Actor, and you're watching Lens. Don't go anywhere.